Everything comes to he who waits. And I have waited so very long for this moment. So what's up guys, there's AK Welsh Patriots and now I'm going down to the village to see if anything's changed. Basically, since the court case decision of them mother of the hotel owners being granted access, so I just want to see if anyone's done in the camp, guys. So this is the day after now, the judgment day, where the hotel owners, Griffin Leisure Limited, or Sterling Woodrow and all those muppets, of basically been granted by the High Court judge who probably got paid off to uh, gain access to the hotel. Despite the fact that it's 200 illegal immigrants dumped on a small village, this village. Uh, and yeah, our voices don't matter anymore. The people of this village don't matter anymore. But it's hardly surprising when most of the people around the village probably didn't even come to protest. They just let, sat back and done nothing. So shame on them. And uh, let's go have a look what's happening up here. Then. This is, there's the hotel, the white creamy, the creamy village, at the creamy building in front. I just, just want to have a quick nose. Why is the council blocked the road off? Well, I'm gonna go and have a quick nose up by the hotel, guys. So do bear with. I'm gonna find a parking space now by the infamous, most popular hedgerow in the village. I'm, I'm supposed to be working, but I'm gonna bunk off for a minute just to check on the guys. See how everybody is. Bear with me for a minute. Look, you can tell I'm back here. Yeah. Caravans over there. That's been vacated now. I think most people haven't given up the fight. Because I haven't. And most of, most of the uh, solid patriots have not given up the fight. So, let's go and see what's going on. Be back in the gym. I want to give a big shout out to the pub owners of that pub down there, Stradi Arms, about the, all the patriots and all their families. If you're ever in Furness and Trinetti, guys, pay, pay them a visit. Uh, awesome owners and uh, fair play to them, they helped out a lot. So go and pay them a visit and give them your money. Hoi ho, off we go down to the village, the village, the village. This is a uh, walk in the Green Mile, walk in the Furness Mile, walk in the Furness Mile. Yo, guys, what's happening? Right, so basically I've just been uh, back from the hotel, guys. Uh, there's a few people there, as you can see in this photo here. And met up with a few of them. Some of them are still in, good, in, in amazing spirits, given the situation. And the court decided to go with the hotel owners. Pricks. So they uh, they still remain positive, guys. They're still going to look, look for loopholes in the law. And they're going to... They got some plans ahead, guys. So we're gonna still battle on. The fight's not over. The 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 uh, the hotel owners may have won the battle, but they haven't won the war. That's the mentality up there. That's the mentality with me. That's the mentality with all the patriots. I met with a little uh, veteran today, as you can see in this photo. And yeah, it was just great to chat, catch up with loads of patriots again to see how they. How their heads and minds are at this moment, and uh, see where they, where their head, heads at and stuff. And it's still, guys. At the end of the day, they're still not budging. They still want to remain as upbeat as possible. The marquee is still up. The flags are still flying. And and even when the hotel staff or people, security, whatever, do come to the hotel, they're gonna have their life made basically like hell we're not we basically they the guys that i've been speaking to they're not gonna just lie down quietly and you know 
roll out the red carpet for these guys for these traitors and greedy bastards they're gonna literally make their lives hell not the actual inhabitants if you can call them that not those the invaders but the actual owners and stuff like that staff will be treated just like everybody else but as for security we're allowed to peacefully protest and not break the law but still be able to make the life hell through loudspeakers music playing and a lot of other tactics which we'll use to basically make their lives hell until they get the message that they're not wanted you neither is the invaders they're not welcome in the village and the above all messages that every patriot across the nation should be following what we're doing and I believe there's going to be a, an appeal put in as well so other than that guys for now I'll leave you be for a sec and I'll catch up there soon again I'll go live at the hotel very soon peace out stay true stay you and uh, remember that we ain't going anywhere we're not giving up the fight at all peace out like and subscribe and be back for more ciao for now